Hello guys, I hope you're doing good. Today, I will share methods for clownfish voice changer when it's not changing voice or even stopping mic voice. If you know, clownfish voice changer doesn't have its own adapter like other voice changers. So this voice changer works with your audio drivers such as Realtek audio drivers or your microphone drivers. Let's make this guide to the point. First, we will do everything fresh, whether it's your Realtek audio drivers or Microsoft drivers. Make sure they are up to date. I will provide the Realtek audio drivers. You can install them first. I'm not including that step here because it's simple and I want my video to be to the point and short but focused on the main topic where we cover all the important aspects. Step two, we will install Clownfish Voice Changer, the 64-bit version with 32-bit VST. I will provide the link in the description, just click on it, and you'll be redirected to this page where you can find all these versions. Once downloaded, now install it on your PC as I'm doing. After installation first, let's configure the microphone that is currently your default microphone. You can check or change it from the control panel. Click on the Windows button, then search for Control Panel, go to Hardware and Sound, and then Sound. In the Recording tab, you can see your default microphone. If you want to change it, right-click on it and set it as the default communication device. Now, the second step is setting this microphone in Clownfish Voice Changer. It's not important, but just for extra care. Click on the Clownfish tray icon, right-click, then go to Setup and Microphone. Set your microphone here. Also check the output device. In many cases, people don't realize that their voice changer is working, but they can't hear it because of the wrong output device selection. Once everything is done, now you can also temporarily enable the hear microphone voice option to check if your voice is changing or not. Again, click on the clownfish tray icon, then setup, then system integration. This is the option I was talking about. Clownfish needs to integrate with your specific microphone. Now, as we chose our default microphone for Clownfish, it's time to integrate it. Find your microphone in the list and click on Install in front of it. If it's already installed, remove it and reinstall it. Once done, now close Clownfish Voice Changer from the tray icon by right-clicking on it, then relaunch it. Also, make sure your Clownfish voice is turned on. If it's turned on, you will see a Turn Off option, and if it's turned off, you will see a Turn On option. Another way to check is that the Clownfish voice changer icon will be gray when turned off and colorful when active. You can check this in the tray icon. Lastly, right click on the Clownfish tray icon and select Set Voice Changer. This will open the Clownfish voice changer panel. There is an option called Append Original Voice. This basically creates an echo effect with your original voice plus change voice and it's totally useless, so uncheck it. AI Denoise is the best option if you have background noise. You can enable this feature to remove background noise. Further presets are available at the top, and you can also manually create a custom pitch and adjustments without voice effects. And if you want to remove all effects, simply click on the clear effect button at the bottom. This will resolve all the issues. That's it guys. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And if you have any suggestions, drop them in the comment section. I'm trying to improve my content and your feedback helps me a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, press the bell icon, and give a thumbs up for this video. I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care, bye!